Yo guys, what's up? Uh, yeah, we're back with another video on this channel. And this video is things we want to see in FIFA 21. As well as you know, FIFA 21, well... Well, it's getting to the point in FIFA 20's lifetime where a lot of people stop playing the game and they get very bored of it and there's not really much to do. So, in this video we're going to discuss things that we want to see in FIFA 21. So number one is career mode kit customizations. A lot of these topics are going to be around career mode, by the way. But yeah, kit customizations would be another would be a key thing. If they could, if they could somehow implement that, they've got it into, um, they've got it into pro clubs, and it's a it's a very big aspect of you know customization. But I don't see why it couldn't have been transferred into career mode where you get to. I don't know, you, you, you just have to have the badge of your team and you can customise the kit in whatever way you want because you, you could go on for 10 seasons, 20 seasons, you've always got the same kit. And that's unrealistic for a team. But yeah, if they could add some form of kit customization, I think it would bring a lot more people to play career mode over because it's just one of them things that's missing from the game that a lot of people would want to see. But um, yeah, number two is... Career stadium customization. Now, if you do like a lot of people do, rebuild type of career modes where they start at a lower league team, let's say you start in the English fourth division and you try and get to the Champions League. Say you go, let's use Salford City for an example. You go for Salford City and you go and use a League Two stadium and you do manage to work your way up to the Premier League and the Champions League. When you get there, it's going to be unrealistic to to still be playing in a League 2 stadium while you're dominating the Premier League and you're in the Champions League because that's never going to happen. So if EA could find a way to, you know, as as you go up the ranks, you can afford to buy, just use, use your, some of your transfer budget into the stadium where you could increase your capacity and more get more people in the ground, which is also another thing where... If the people are in bad form, the team, surely they should have some empty seats in the stadiums, which it's not there at the minute. Every stadium is always full, which it's it's unrealistic. Just that's what that's what career mode basically is. A lot of people are moaning because it's being picked up to be this big thing, and it's still unrealistic. It's just as bad as it was every other year. Uh, yeah. So number three. This isn't career mode, this is just FIFA in general. They need to get more more forms of licensing. So, they need to get... Well, obviously, the big one for this year was Juventus. They've changed them to Piemonte Calcio. They've lost the licensing. But, um, yeah. If they, could get, if they could get some more new licensing, like the new camp's been missing for how long now on FIFA? So we just... They need to have it back because it's it's stopping people from wanting to play with the likes of the teams of Barcelona, Juventus because they can't use the kits or they can't be in the stadiums and if if they could get hold of the stadiums that would bring a whole new life to the game and I think it'd have a lot more people it'd make a lot more people want to play with them you know the best teams in the world. Number four is a it's actually a controversial one. The VAR system. Now, just quickly comment down below. Would you like to see VAR in FIFA? And I know this would break a lot of controllers. A lot. Imagine it. You, it's foot champs. It's been it's been nil nil. Hundred and twentieth minute. You've scored. You've celebrated. The goal's gone to VAR, and it's been given as offside. But yeah, that that could make a lot of a difference. But. You know, with VAR being in the Premier League and it's be it being implemented in actual real football, the only way to make the game just as realistic is to have it in the game as well. It would break a lot of controllers and probably fifty percent of the people would not want it in the game. But if they want to make FIFA and especially career mode as realistic as they can, then they're gonna to need to have some form of VAR in into yeah uh, into FIFA twenty one because if they're having if they're having it in real in real football in real life then they're gonna make people they're gonna make FIFA seem less realistic 
if they don't have it in FIFA because it's just missing. It's just an element missing. But it would be funny to see some VAR decisions given as well and you get to zoom in on where they've gone. Where they've gone right or where they've gone wrong. Another thing, number five, I think, on the list. Five or... Oh, I don't even know anymore. But yeah, brand deals would be amazing to see in career mode next year. Um, yeah, because... Because every year, just like the kit customization, every year you could go on for seasons and seasons and seasons with the same kit, same sponsors. But if EA found a way to, as you progress through the leagues, maybe if you start at a lower league, and get get um get better brands offering to sponsor the team, and you get more money from, it, and you get to choose where would be the best way to go. That would offer just a lot more. A lot more realisticness, if that's even a word, to the game. It would, uh, it, yeah, it really. I think there's just little things like that that would revive career mode. It'd make a lot of a lot of people want to play because, obviously, this year the big focus was career mode and manager career and the customization features. But I just don't think they've done enough for people to still want to play it. They need more forms of customization, like the kits, like the stadiums, even badges. You could you could make your own team, and put them in the English fourth division, and you try and work your way up to the Prem and the Champions League. Just just things like that, just little things that would, it would help, um, help career mode. You know, come back to normal. Normal. What am I talking about? It's never been normal. It's an EA game, but yeah. Um, another another big thing, another big problem with career mode, is actually the transfers. If you look at some of the top teams transfers, when you go to deadline day and such, they're signing mediocre players. Just like they're signing like Davidson Sanchez and just you know mediocre seed c- uh, centre backs, and they're signing them for upwards of a hundred million. But that's not realistic because you know Man City wouldn't want to sign. Yeah, let's use Davinson, Davinson Sanchez as an example. Man City wouldn't want to sign Davinson Sanchez for a hundred and fifty million when he's valued at sixty five or just unrealistic transfers. Also, teams like Barcelona and Man City and Liverpool giving away the top players, could like the uh, Liverpool selling Mohamed Salah and Sadio Mane in the same year, or. City letting Sergio Aguero go for a lot less than what he's worth and they just let him go at the drop of a hat. It just it just makes career mode unrealistic. And that that's that's a key element of career mode. They want it to be re- as realistic as possible. And all these little things that they do, well it could make the difference, make it more make it look a lot more realistic. But yeah. Um if the if the big teams Somehow made, uh, somehow made, if they somehow made the big teams hold on to the players, I think it'd be a lot better for career mode as a whole, because it'd make them easier. It'd make, it just bring it back down to that idea again of realism, just being more realistic, because that's what people want when they play career. They want it to be as realistic as possible. But yeah, another uh, we're going on to the next thing is a, a new stat. Maybe, and it's a form of loyalty stat. Some somehow, to the current club, and how happy. Well, I, su- I suppose they've sort of got that with the ha- like the happiness, the morale. But some form of like loyalty stat. So how easy the players leave the club. Because if they've got a high loyalty to the club, then you're gonna have to pay a lot more for to to sign them, because they won't want to leave the club. But if you've got a low loyalty club, you can pay them a lot less because they want to go. But yeah, that that's just another idea that we've got. Um, also, yeah, there's, there's another, another point is big teams in cup games. It's like if you, if you had a career mode with, I don't know, Southampton and they're in the League One, they're in League One and they go into the FA Cup and they somehow make it through. To play, I don't know, let's say they're playing Tottenham in the round of 32 of the FA Cup or something. 
and they go in and um, they're playing their top shard, obviously Sunderland, they haven't got the best shard, but they're playing their top shard in order to try and win this trophy. Tottenham would not play their first team against a League One shard. Big teams, if you're coming up against a big team in a cup game in career mode, they're playing the, the likes of Bar, um, they're playing like your Liverpool are playing their first team. Mo Salah, Shadio Mane, Roberto Firmino. If you look at Tottenham, they're playing Kane, Deli Ali. They're playing the top shards. City are playing Aguero. What are you meant to do when you're trying to shim a game, while you've got Will Grigg up front, he's on fire like. But there's not much you can do when he's playing against Man City's first team. Because not, they're never going to get anywhere past that. If you want to make career more, more realistic, make big teams like that realise when it's a small, it's a, it's a smaller opponent and they can play the youngsters in the team to try and boost the ratings, but also it gives another team a fair chance. Because the way it goes now, if you try and simulate through a cup and you meet a big, a big side... Nine times out of ten, you're going out because they're always, 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 without fail, going to play the first the first team. They're always going to play the first starting eleven, first choices. And when you've got, oh, I don't even know, when you've got a 60-rated left-back that's coming up and he's against Mohamed Salah, it's not, it's not really a realistic comparison of what happens in real football. Like, if you're looking at... Liverpool, for example, in the FA Cup, they're playing their kids' teams against the likes of Everton, Arsenal, Shrewsbury. They, they need to recognise it as big teams playing small, younger players at, in a cup game. Because that's what happens in real football. They don't, not always do they play the first team, no matter what. They've got to try and give other players a game. But I think that, yeah, that's one of the most important things, just... The key word throughout this whole video has always been realism. That's what FIFA want. That's what EA want. They want career mode to be realistic. And without these slight changes that are... Um, well, they're essential to be made to make the difference for career mode. But without these slight differences being made, it's not, it's not realistic. Like, having the same kit for... A ten, 10 years and 10 seasons or you know go, go on as Barca and you can't even play in the new Camp why what, just it's just pointless it's like if you if you get a job offer from I don't know you get a, you've been playing you've been managing a team that have been playing brilliantly and you get a you get a job offer from Barcelona you go to Barcelona to find out they've sold Messi, sold Suarez, sold everyone that starts, sold all of their big players, and it's just not realistic because it wouldn't it wouldn't happen in real life. Watching all my love now, Barca are gonna go and sell all the best players. But yeah, um, leave in the comment section if you can think of any changes that haven't been mentioned in this video, or maybe any. Any comments that you think, oh no, like with the VAR thing, whether you would like to see it in FIFA next year, or whether it would just ruin the game, I'm all I'm all ears to what you guys have to say as well. But yeah, it's been a very uh, very fun video to make. Just a just a request, just you know maybe someone at EA might see this and think, oh yeah, that's a good idea that. But yeah, uh, always consider subscribing if you want to see FIFA content. And in fact, no, not just FIFA. We can play a lot of other games. Leave in the comment section what you suggest, what videos types to make. But yeah, this has been Betty, and uh, I'm signing off. Peace. The
Me and you girl, you and me Jump it to the floor and me, me see you in a jibby car Me not play no hide and seek You and me, just you and me 